Hello my loves, welcome back. My name is Amy, if you're brand new to this channel. Today's video is all about vachette or vaquetta, depending on where or how you like to pronounce it. In French, it's vachette. In Italian, it should be vaquetta. That's all I know because I took a tiny little bit of Italian. I decided to redo this video because I had a couple of old, really old videos in the past where I talked about my experience as well as how I maintain my leather on monogram bags from Louis Vuitton and I just wanted to do an update. Honestly, I don't do anything different from what I told you guys in my older videos, but I feel like this is newer production. I used to be less eloquent and um, I feel like you guys will appreciate this. So let's take a look at the definition. Vaquetta is untreated Italian leather generally used on luggage and luxury handbags such as Louis Vuitton. When first purchased, vaquetta leather is a light beige color which is designed to age. It will go a dark brown shade over the years and with use. Patina is unavoidable and is susceptible to water, stains, and exposure to sunlight. It can go very dark due to the grease and natural oils on your hands, especially if you wear hand creams. The upside of patina, however, is that each item will develop its own unique characteristics and no two bags will be exactly the same. Essentially, it's a raw leather, meaning it's untreated. So when we say treated, it means anything that doesn't change color and that usually has a coating on it. So like the Damier Ben leather, the chocolate leather, uh, look at any of the Chanel handbags. They are all either lambskin or caviar, but they're all treated. I also have a bag from Carl Friedrich, which is a company in the UK. So this is the bag and this bag is also cowhide leather. It is still treated but it can still patina. So patina is just, it just means generally that it ages. So this one you can scuff it over time but it will kind of give it this vintage look. So looking at a distance you can see that the color from the Speedy and the Neverfull is quite different. Uh, this I bought in 2015. I remember, I think it was around April if I remember correctly. They, they just had a price increase, something crazy like that. <laughs> and then this one I bought in 2017 um, during a trip in Europe. I actually bought it in Spain. And the luggage tag on it actually does not come with it. This luggage tag was really, really really white basically like a very light beige color and i just left it on my bag and then over time it just almost equalized with the same color as my bag even though they were not exactly the same color but over time if you expose it to air which is exactly what i did i'll talk about the process uh it's pretty much almost the same color not exactly exactly obviously but it's very very close you wouldn't really be able to tell from very far away. I really don't use these two pouches very much. In fact, I don't really use many pouches. This I've had, um, this was, I was just checking the little date code inside and it was made in 2015. So basically it's the same age as my Never Full, but the Never Full's patina is a lot darker as you can see because I don't really use this pouch very often. Um, and it's since been in storage for the last couple of years. Whenever I buy a brand new Vachetta bag, I actually do not use it. I basically leave it exposed without its dust bag because that way the patina process can sort of start its own thing, you know, aging. Uh, the process is really, really slow at the beginning when your bag is brand new, spanking new. And I like doing that, meaning I like exposing it at home without using it for a period of time because it will start developing its own call it coating call it sheen it's it's not really technical i suppose but it does start the aging process and that aging process actually protects the leather um it's not gonna be a hundred percent because it's still not a treatment per se but that process of aging of darkening and of developing that sheen especially if you know even though you don't use it you can still touch it at home 
touch it with clean hands and play with it um, just as long as you don't splash it with water or drinks and or anything like that or oils then it won't it won't be damaged and it won't be blotchy and uneven just play with it at home expose it to the air sometimes i will even put it beside a window i you know depending on the configuration of the leather such as the butzino way i had to switch side every now and then the longer you leave it exposed especially when it's brand new like the longer you can resist not using a brand new vachetta bag the better because once it has that coating that invisible coating that we're talking about then even when you start carrying it and start using it even if let's say you do get splashes of water on it or you get rain on it chances are even when you get water stain on it it will still even out it will just dry out and it will kind of even out um, sometimes it might leave a very very faint mark but the longer you let the patina process continue then over time it will even out and by the way i do not use any products whatsoever all my bags like literally all my bags including my treated bags i don't do anything so you might be asking amy how long do i need to let this patina process go before i can start using my bag it really depends like i said it really depends on where you live Personally speaking, my bags, I usually leave it at least unused for at least a month. With my pochette mitsis, I actually did not use it for almost a few months before I started using it. But in the end, it worked out perfectly because like I said, I didn't use the bag for a few months when I first bought it. It was just actually sitting covered. It was actually covered. I, I didn't even expose it because I, I didn't know all this at the time. It was still covered with the dust bag in it, but the patina process still continues. It's just a little slower when you cover it. Um, and then I started using it on my first trip to Las Vegas. So we went to Las Vegas for like three or four days. And of course in Las Vegas, it's very hot. It's very dry, but it's, it's very hot from the sun. Um, and so I, I believe I even got a couple of drops of water on it. It was not a big, big deal, but I did freak out a little bit internally. But I knew also deep down that it was just a bag that I was going to experiment with as my first piece with Vachetta. So I was okay with, and then I brought it with me to Hong Kong. Uh, the next year, I believe, I traveled to Hong Kong and I um, I got poured on because it you know it was like storm season I suppose I don't know it was just I got poured on a couple times on my bag no matter how you wipe it, it there's still going to be all these blotches of rain on it and at that time I actually wiped it down with a clean sort of you know those hand wipes that has no alcohol uh, I got it from a restaurant so I did wipe it down a couple of times when I was in Hong Kong when that happened obviously when you wipe it down especially with extra liquid it will darken even more like literally when you look at it it's gonna look like you drenched the piece of leather and you might freak out and don't freak out immediately let it dry so wait till tomorrow let it dry take a look at it and see how it looks chances are it will have a little bit of dryness to the leather like it's not going to be as smooth and kind of shiny as it used to be but don't freak out again don't go on adding more lotion and whatever at least that's not what i did i just kept using it and with my oils and with more usage it went back to the more shiny more moisture looking leather i think once in a while if it's really dirty if it has those dark marks then you can sort of wipe it down again again use some sort of wipe that has no alcohol that's not as drying um, i don't typically recommend wiping it down too too often uh, like i said i only did it twice with my bush and mitzis ever like ever 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 and it's it was fine when i had to let it go because of the defect it like the the sales assistant were telling me how beautiful my patina was and whether i'm sure that i don't want to just keep a defective bag you know that type of thing <laughs> um but they were just joking they they just meant that i i had a really nice patina basically i know that there are people who are really pro treating their leather 
uh, you know, I think there's like Apple Guard, all these other products. Those products will prevent it from the aging process or slow down the aging process. It's really up to you if you decide to go that route. I've never tried it myself, so I do not recommend it myself. Uh, my way is that I let it do the natural thing and it's always worked out for me case in point even when i got poured on twice now i don't recommend getting poured on too many times like i said it does dry out the leather but i do understand that weather is unpredictable sometimes and that these things are not a hundred percent preventable but like i said and i will repeat again if you let the patina process start a little bit at the beginning when the brand new bag is very very white let it start a little bit at home don't use it for a few weeks at least three weeks i go longer than that then your bag is a little bit more protected even when you get elements on it i have dry skin so usually my hands they're not moist i do use lotion but i don't use it constantly during the day i will use it perhaps after i bathe and that's about it. I don't actually really use it throughout the day. So that's a really helpful tip, I think, for most people who want to uh, prevent their bags from getting that black stain on the most touched area. Do it at your own risk. I feel like if you do decide to treat your bag with whatever product that you find, there is a chance that it will ruin your leather just because, I mean, unless you know for sure and you've tried it in the past, you don't know if that product will actually eventually make it dark or have that chemical reaction with it right so i i really don't recommend using any products on it and plus even the official um the official literature for how to care for your bag from louis vuitton they tell you not to use anything on it and they tell you to avoid getting water stains on it and things like that of course like i said things do happen life does happen accidents do happen but when it does happen try your best to just stamp it with a dry cloth dry kleenex whatever you have in hand at the time i guess and stamp it as much as possible to get rid of the excess and then deal with it later on the worst case scenario is that your bag is completely ruined for whatever reason accident or you spilled wine on it or whatever then you just have to go back to LV and get a quote for having the leather pieces replaced. It's not ideal because it costs a lot of money to do that. So it's best practice to just try to do your best to keep it in good shape. In terms of how old they are, this was 2017, 2015. I really like this color and the contrast and I feel like at this point it's dark enough for me to cover it and keep storing it until I use it. Same with this Neverfull. Uh, this Neverfull, I use it for travel sometimes and uh, I use it a lot more also in the summer because in the summer it's actually quite nice in Vancouver. It doesn't quite rain as much as in the winter months. I think I did catch some rain at the beginning when uh, my bag was still relatively new so you might see some stains on it but it's very like you see a little bit on here you see a little bit on here uh, and a little bit on this chap as well but they are very very light it almost kind of looks like they blend in same on this side right there's like a little patch here if i really wanted to one day if i really wanted to give it a good wipe down i can wipe it down so it will be a little moist and it will even it out a little bit. I just don't feel like doing it yet just because it's not terrible. It's not really dirty yet. It doesn't have any dark spots. I really do like Vachetta bags just because they are more comfortable. The leather is usually already quite soft to begin with just because it's not treated. It doesn't have that extra, you know, that extra plastic coating or that extra layer that's that makes the leather really stiff such as the Damier Ben leather that's really really stiff not all treated leathers are uncomfortable to be honest but just comparing the Damier Ben one and the monogram one I do notice a difference having said that I wouldn't necessarily recommend that you always go with monogram bags it just depends on what you like I feel like some looks better on monogram and Vachetta and some looks better with the Damier Ben um, I think in general LV is just 
churning out more bags in monogram anyway don't be afraid of vachetta and if you are it's completely understandable but if you're a little bit adventurous or if you just want to experiment decide on a bag that you want to buy hopefully maybe one that's a little bit less expensive so that even if it does get ruined i suppose ruined is very subjective i suppose um, then it won't hurt as much but if you're not ready to do that because i have friends that are not willing to even try then just don't do it buy reverse monogram with treated leather um you know there there are monogram bags that have treated leather on them so just get those and then you'll avoid the headache of keeping up with vachetta i do have to say that you know when it does pour i don't necessarily want to take this out just because i know that i can avoid the extra stains so why not but the, i guess that's a con of vachetta as well because it's not weatherproof and even though you do have that initial protective layer especially if you let the process begin um it's not foolproof it's not guaranteed to not leave a mark on it chances are it will leave some sort of shadow like i just showed you on my neverfall but it's also part of the process as part of the beauty of this kind of leather so it's really just your personal taste whether you're accepting of this or not personally i really love it but like i said it's not a bag that i will always always use i guess you can also think of it as being lambskin versus caviar i know we're talking chanel bags now but we all hear and say that lambskin is not that delicate caviar is just very hard wearing in a superficial surface scratch type of manner um you know those little dings here and there will not really affect the look and the aging of the leather whereas if you get a really deep scratch and uh if you somehow get some sort of the layer top layer of damage then it's gone whereas with lambskin chances are you can buff it pretty well to make it new again it's not going to be new new but it's it's more buffable basically it's not as prone to long-term wear and tear i suppose i mean it's still prone to the same wear and tear but you can kind of salvage it a little bit more so i feel like it's kind of this along the same lines of that it's gonna just it's just gonna look a bit more vintage over time because it does darken and it does get these stains here and there but you can still kind of even it out over time the darker it becomes the more even out it becomes and the softer and the more comfortable it becomes whereas treated leather damier ben leather it can get very wrinkly and once it's wrinkled you cannot go back to the unwrinkled state and if you get a chunk of it missing from the surface it's gone as well so kind of think of it along the lines of that hopefully this was interesting to you i'll see if i can link my old videos like i said just warning you my old videos are very old and i probably didn't speak as eloquently as i did this time not saying that i'm much much better but i'm a little better now but i'll uh, do my best to link them down below let me know if you have any more questions maybe i forgot to cover something so let me know down below and i'll definitely do my best to answer to my best knowledge if you're not subscribed to my channel yet i would really love it if you do join my family here on youtube and leave me a comment give me a like on this video have a great day i'll talk to you all again very soon bye